Oh, come on, I'm not a kid. I can do more than that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Stop. 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 Ah, oh, shit. What's up, guys? Eric here, bringing you a Two Brew Dudes Light. Um, today, I'm going to be trying a beer from the Great Divide Brewing Company. It is called the Hercules Double IPA. Now, I've had one beer from Great Divide, and that was the Yeti Stout. Uh, I, I loved it. I mean, that was probably top ten stouts I've had, uh, and that's going against some pretty stiff competition. So today, I'll be bringing you, again, the Hercules Double IPA. As you can see, I'll try to get it in the right light here. It's got a nice copper color. I had to pour it without you guys seeing because it's kind of hard to film and pour at the same time. Uh, it's got that nice copper color. This head has been sticking around for about five minutes. When I initially poured it, it was about an inch. It was about an inch thick. Uh, nice solid head. You could easily float a bottle cap on it. So let's uh, let's give it a smell. So you can definitely taste. You can definitely smell the the hops and the the malt, which is kind of what you expect from a double IPA. Uh, but you also get a get a hint of grapefruit, which I think is great. Um, so let's uh, let's give it a swig. Wow. Um, it's got an, it's got an alcohol bite to it, but this beer is also 10% alcohol by volume, so you kind of expect that, and it's a double IPA, so I don't know what you're expecting. Um, it, you get a lot of hops at the beginning, but then the malts come in, and they kind of smooth it out and give you a nice, a nice warm aftertaste that sticks around for a while, which is kind of what you expect from a double IPA. I would say this is probably one of the better double IPAs I've had. I just, two days ago, I had the Decadence from Ska Brewing, um, and I wouldn't recommend that. It it was decent, but in my opinion, it wasn't it wasn't one of the better ones. Uh, when this compares, I would say this is probably one of the better ones. So whenever you see it in your uh, your local your local pub or your your local beer store, I say definitely pick it up and give it a try. As always, you can find me on Untapped at Badfish13. And of course, don't forget the creator of this show, Nick, at Nick Caterham. And you can always get a hold of myself or Nick on, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.